Regina can feed her. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen you needing it for years. This because I go out every night, it's a Saturday. Ah, uh, okay. That's not true. <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, this is the Matlovsky Gallery. We have here a picture show of the artist Pancho Kilinchik. He, he was born in Caracas, Venezuela, but he's based in Paris, and he straddles both worlds. That they were in Latin America and Europe, and he's very well known in both countries. And his works are very complex. Some of the work is a little bit complex. Well, complex work in this world. We will do this one. Okay, this is the Matlovsky Gallery. Okay. 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 In the middle of the work, there is a piano, which is a painting. And there's a planking piano, has a painting panel on the inside, which I wrapped with polyester tool, which has printing on top. You can see both the printing and the panel inside, because the tool, of course, is transparent. And then some of his works, I don't want to say works on features, because they really are not. And they would be called by the works of paper. They're also wow. constructed of layers, so the bottom will be the paper layer with painting and drawing, and then there will be acetate sheets and some cut out paper also with printing and drawing on top of them. And if you look very carefully, you will see all the layers, mm -hmm. but of course the effect here, I think you can see it much better here, because it's more transparent as it is panel, how it's all constructed inside. And uh, I leave you to the right of that, you look and you ask questions. by the Russian artist Valery Koshlikov. He's one of the biggest Russian artists working today, internationally recognized. He was selected to represent Russia at Menes Biennale, which is, of course, the biggest honor any country can bestow an artist. And his work is also no mixed media. He basically collages large pieces of paper onto canvas, and then he draws both on canvas and on paper. And sometimes he distresses the work by tearing pieces of already painted paper off and gives us this sort of sketch a look. Very large scale sketch. Now, this work by Gabriela Morovich, who's a French artist, also incorporates this new technique of printing of polyester tool. This technique was not possible until two or three years ago because the printers and such just did not exist. And so, obviously, this is photo based work. The bottom has a photograph, and the top also has a photograph, but together they fuse because the bottom is a traditional photograph on canvas, but the top is the tool photograph, two images together. Here, before this was invented, she could do this on flexing. <coughs> you can see this. the bottom panel is the photograph of the canvas with some objects in it. The big piece also has some objects, by the way. And on the top is the flexing, the transparency of the flexing. But the transparency of the tool is much more mystical. I think she can do a lot more. Would you agree that most of these artists that you show us today, they are working with new techniques, like uh, um, their work is possible because of the new technology? And well, I think it's true about every artist working today. Yeah. But, you know, before the artists, since the beginning of the 20th century, no longer really need to use a live model, for instance. They all can use a photograph of a model. So that's a direct uh, result of a new technology. But certainly people using technology like this, is printing of polyester, is direct incorporation of a new technology. It wasn't possible just years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you know what? I want to take you to a traditional piece. Um, the other question I have. Yes, you know, We are dealing with a figurative work, the figure. Yes. 
do you think obstruction is coming back or is no it's or? never coming back no <laughs> <laughs> Not in this gallery, yeah, not coming back. Really? You like my boyfriend, Michael? Oh, oh. oh. This is Ed Paschke. Yeah, very good. Tell them who Ed Paschke is. No, you tell them who Ed is. You're a big champion of his work. Ed Paschke was a Chicago oh. artist, the biggest artist living in Chicago. He died, unfortunately, in 2004. We represented him until the day that he died. And what more perfect way of one Chicago icon and the other, Paschke and Jordan. And looking at me all day long, we took this. Michael, Michael, you look at me, I like him very much. Okay. So I, I, I like the ironic and then earnest representation of Michael Jordan as a god in this piece. Sort of heroic Roman profile on this, this side, and a very human portrait on the other. Of course, Michael Jordan is a god. He's a god. No disputing. Well, let's look at another Peshki piece, which she incorporates into technology. Was he one of the first to come first, first, right? first, 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 first. He was the first to be approached. Yeah. He was the first to be approached. This piece is computer generated. There will be a quiz, so please. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll turn down the light. Just for you. Thank you. Wow. So this piece is computer generated, meaning a Pashki work inside the paint program, which was invented for this particular work, to p produce this kind of work, in the Chicago Computer Lab, art to the nth dimension. The output was printed on a supercrome transparency of this size and slid on